subscribers welcome to YMC Help. Receiving an offer from new organization always brings in glitter in our eyes. But are you sure you are getting the right value for your skill set? Approximately 45% people don't even negotiate for a bit when they're presented with an offer. Even for those who do negotiate, they don't do it in the right manner. As a result, either their offer gets cancelled or they are getting paid very less. We all have learned how to negotiate very early in our lives. Right from bargaining with the vendor to get a cheapest price or negotiating with our parents to fulfill our wishes. During an interview, 9 out of 10 people have no idea how to negotiate their salaries. They just rush to accept the offer whichever is presented to them. But today, we'll provide you with certain tips with which you can negotiate the best package for your job when discussing the same with HR. Here are a few tips which you can follow. First, find out how much other companies are willing to pay for this position. There are various tools, websites or apps available such as Glassdoor, Fishbowl where you can look for the salary of your position in different companies. So do your market research well in advance and don't miss out on asking the market salary for your job. Two, before entering a salary discussion, determine your worth. You should have crisp pointers as to what you are bringing to the table and how your skill set is matching to the company's job profile. Additionally, you should have some exclusive pointers at your hand that distinguish you from the other competitors and peers. This will help you to justify your ask against the HR. Third, explain why your want is justified rather than declaring it explicitly. Don't be adamant, harsh or rude. Be specific and analytical. You must have points to justify your ask. Don't just quote a number without any rational. Be open to counters and don't get affixed to a specific number. Four, other than salary, what are the non-monetary benefits that a company is providing? For example, free cap services, free meals, etc. Imagine you have two offers at your hand with a differential of 1 lakh. Now the company paying less might provide some non-monetary benefits, for example, free transport, a premium gym membership, free meals for all employees. Now when you calculate or evaluate the value of these perks, it might be much more than rupees 1 lakh. And for some employees, it might hold more value in terms of non-monetary benefits. So always do this distinction and this evaluation before accepting any offer. Fifth, don't make hasty decisions about accepting the offer. Unless and until you are really in a need of job, don't rush. Take your time, research, analyze, and then finally take a well-informed decision. Salary is just a part of job. Think about the work you are doing, the level you are being offered, and the brand of the organization. Think thoroughly before making the decision. 6. Never ever ever lie about your previous salary. Your document verification as well as a background check would be run by the organization that you are joining. So it's always beneficial to be honest in all salary negotiations. Plus, the repercussions of lying are very grave. You may even be barred from the entire industry. 7. Please don't make it appear as if you are having a disagreement. Arguments are never appreciated by anyone. Be factual and polite while negotiating it with the HR. A rude behavior can close your door to enter this company in future. So, choose your word carefully and be assertive rather than argumentative. 8. If you don't have a choice, stay calm. It's not the end of the world. Unless absolutely necessary or unless and until you are in absolute need of job, don't settle for less than what you deserve. Stay calm and deny the offer on email stating explicit reasons of denial. It's always better to communicate and give a response than to remain silent. Even if you are accepting something in the hour of need, do it in a calm tone with a stable mind. So, above 8 points can help you out in cracking the deal with the HR. Practice it out, apply it in your interview and crack the deal. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Share it with your friend, family and colleagues. Thank you.